Most of the roof of that massive Walmart distribution facility in Plainfield is now gone. Crews on the ground have been working to put out all those remaining hot spots as quickly as they can. Throughout the day yesterday, firefighters were located over the building's edge, spraying the remaining flames with water. But the size and scope of the building is making things tricky. As for the cause, it is still could take days, if not weeks, to determine. And those who are working in the Walmart Fulfillment Center are hopeful investigators will be able to get answers as to how it all started so quickly. And they're thankful no one was hurt. We have a thing where once we get out, they scan all of our badges, and thankfully everyone was accounted for. They are planning to move us to different facilities or stores and try to get us all working again. And um, so that's really nice of them to work that out for us. Walmart does plan to pay each employee 40 hours plus overtime after activating a disaster pay program. They're also looking to relocate workers at nearby stores and warehouses. And now, what about all the smoke that warehouse fire sent up into the air? People living nearby are understandably a bit concerned after seeing debris also fall in their yards. Yeah, a lot of concern about the potential health impacts. Our Emily Longnecker has that part of the story. We'll take a look. This is some of the debris that's found in people's yards about five miles away from where Wednesday's fire happened. Now we talked to an environmental expert who told us if you find some of this debris from the fire in your yard, don't touch it. Just leave it there because you don't know what's in it or what you could be exposing yourself to. The bigger concern right now, though, is air quality. That's why environmental experts say it would be smart to wear an N95 mask until the air pollution goes down, especially for the young the elderly, or people with breathing difficulties. People who are experiencing breathing difficulties and so forth, that's because of all of these fine particulates that were released when this, all this material burned at very high temperature. And the city of Plainfield recently put out a statement saying that they're helping out first responders and workers at that Walmart center. You can see more pictures and video of that damage right now at WTHR.com.